You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, last night the Super Bowl had the stars out and about to watch the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles play the game. Of course, as you guys know, the Kansas City Chiefs ended up winning the game 38 35. Now, stars were definitely at this Super Bowl, and one particular star was one LeBron James himself, LaChina James, LeWolt James, whatever name you want to actually uh, call him. He was actually at the game because um he is actually not playing basketball right now because he is injured. I don't know exactly when he's going to return to the Lakers. Doesn't really matter. Lakers are a dumpster fire. But LeBron James appeared on the Jumbotron, and LeBron James is not well, light whatsoever. He wants to be a social justice warrior, even though he's not really educated on much of anything when it comes to any type of social justice. He sides with criminals. He's anti-police. He is anti-American. He sides with the uh, woke BLM. He got into that NBA bubble in 2020, knelt for the national anthem, trashed this country, and has not looked back. Well, LeBron James is not well loved. He wants you to call him the king. Remember the whole King James moniker? He actually made that up himself. It wasn't organic. He is now the NBA's all time leading scorer, but he is not the GOAT. He wants you to believe he is the GOAT. Now, if he wants to believe that he is the GOAT, hey, go ahead. I believe uh, all great NBA players should actually um you know, believe they, that they are the best. And a lot of them probably actually do. But LeBron James has been on this mission, really, to make people love him. But when you dive into left wing politics, when you bring in politics into your sport. It's just going to destroy the sport. The NBA is at a low right now. The ratings, not very good. They got crushed on Christmas Day by the NFL. Now, the NFL definitely is a more popular sport. But Christmas Day always belong to the NBA. Not anymore. Not anymore. But look here. It does say LeBron James crowns himself after the crowd boos him at Super Bowl. Basketball star LeBron James crowned himself after people in the crowd booed him during the Super Bowl on Sunday. The moment occurred when the Jumbotron Show LeBron James enjoying the matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. Keeping up with his title, quote unquote, King James, LeBron put an imaginary crown on his head as the fans booed him. And this is the uh, clip right here. It's actually uh, tweeted out by uh, Talking NBA. LeBron James is shown on the Jumbotron at the Super Bowl and the fans Boo him. Let's go ahead and play this. Yeah. Puts on a fake crown on his head. Can you can you guys imagine Michael Jordan getting booed at the Super Bowl? They put him on Jumbotron. He waves to the crowd. I don't believe he's going to get booed. But LeBron James is definitely a divisive figure. This is what happens when you actually bring politics in your sports. You divide people. Pretty much, guys, the NBA has pretty much lost 50 percent of their audience, mainly because LeBron James brought politics into his sport. There's been a lot of speculation that uh, LeBron James may one day actually get into politics it probably won't actually be in his um, home state of Ohio. That seems to be a red state right now. But he's in the perfect spot for his uh, leftist uh, politics in the People's Republic of California. Maybe he'll do something over there. I'm not really sure. Of course, you know, he's already 38. He's going to be 39 in December. So he's definitely going to be nearing the end of his career. And his next uh, political uh, ploy could actually probably be running for Congress or something out there in California. But man, this man has done almost irreparable damage to the NBA 
if you ask me. And this is just another telltale sign that the fans, they hate LeBron James. All he had to do was stay out of politics, you know, become a politician after your career, because there's actually in a former NFL players that are actually in uh, Congress right now. I mean, we done videos before on, on uh, Jack Brewer. Now, of course, Jack Brewer wasn't, you know, on the level of LeBron James when he was playing, but he didn't bring politics into sports. And that has been the legacy of LeBron James. And it's very, very divisive. And he just got booed at the Super Bowl. Not a surprise, not a surprise if you ask me. Now, some of you guys may be saying, well, that Prescott, he got booed at um the Super Bowl, too. Yeah. But that's mainly because that Prescott is a Dallas Cowboy and the Eagles and the Cowboys are rivals. That's pretty much it. Eagles fans are just ruthless, ruthless. Everybody knows that. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, LeBron James booed at the Super Bowl. Wow. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.